That's right guys, we're back working on the Impala And so uh, last time we got all the suspension And all that good stuff set up, redone, etc And so now we got the rear brake pads that we're going to replace And hopefully that'll help it with it stopping Now it's luckily, the suspension has helped a lot with how well it stops Because now it's a lot stiffer, it works a lot better But... I think these little dudes are going to help us with the uh, stopping as well. So that's going to be kind of cool to feel how well it grips up and everything. So we're going to get those onto the Impala today. Let's get to work. Alrighty guys, so here we go. Got the tires off and stuff and kind of see in there. What a brake pad looks like, it's not a whole lot left on it. But then, we got the new guy, right there, and look at that. Nice and new. Mm. Like that, that looks good. So, alrighty guys, we will get that off and put the new ones on. Alright, side number two. Go. Which side I got to go here? Let's see, what is this? Well, well, on the ground is what we are. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Good, good. good. Got to make sure I know which way I'm going. This is interesting because how am I supposed to do the downstroke back here? Can I adjust it? Oh, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. And to do the upstroke. Worked out pretty good, too. Set up the elbow, but gotta use the antenna. Get going here. I'm gonna get that loose. Get this guy loose here. Come on, get out of the way. There we go. Get these guys the rest of the way out. How you doing? Doing good. I can't. I really can't wait to see how it breaks. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh huh. There we go. Have to go take it before the test drive. Uh huh. That'll be fun. Ah, there we go. I got that out. Why do I want that out? Got too many rags going on now. So that's why you have one rag, not two, not three. One rag. You wipe your hands off. One rag. You use to put stuff on. Two. Where's that two? There it is. Okay, come here, two. There you are. You're a good little tool. All right, here. Let's see if I can replicate the top head. One right there. One right there. This right in the middle. Hopefully. Going. <laughs> These have a little bit more tread on them than the last ones. Really? Yes, of course. Can't get the thing going in the middle. Uh, back to the middle. Yeah, have a thread to proceed to go. Please. Oh, this 
interesting. Oh, got the one of the other ones we can use. Oh, oh, look yeah, at that one. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's just for some reason it's just a little bit thicker on the one. Yeah. So if we have a bit thinner, we can probably make it. Look at all that brake dust all over my fingers. My fingers, see my fingers? Yeah, which one's yeah, the smallest? Those two. Yeah, you don't want to wash that either way. Yep. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yep. That's more space. Yeah, we go. Much better. That's what somebody's talking about. There we go. Very nice. Cool. So now we got that set up. Ready to go. And all we gotta do is slip on our new catapus. Or our new, not a new catapus. Uh, wait a minute here. We got. That one has some issues there. See how it's worn off already? Uh, not really an issue. Okay. Sometimes they look that way. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks a little bit different. I think yeah. part of it is uh -huh. to help with um, getting it onto the. Uh, oh, got it. Okay. Just kind of like that little wedge. Alrighty. To help get it on. Yes, as long it's as it's good. Those farmers' edges aren't really your your actual center breaking. Okay. Kind of like on the, the reverse of the edge, of the lower blades. Okay. Like outer ends are what's really cutting. Tricky little devil. Yep. <laughs> that car sounded like you need some brakes. Mm -hmm. Bottom on now. Now we can get the top off. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. There you go. Yay! Yeah, it's off. You sometimes you gotta start from the bottom. Start from yeah. The just never know. Just right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good quality, but cheap. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Just add some more since we're here. Okay. It's not. You see how it's kind of. Yeah. There's not mm -hmm. actually any tack to it. This is brake and caliper grease. Okay. Sometimes 100% silicone is better or works just as good. But. So we don't need them on the threads. We just mm -hmm. need it right here because that whole caliper is Did right you want the other one too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you already stuck it in there? Yep. Not too bad. Mm. Uh -huh. It's not like you showed me what you did the last time. So. That's true. I don't know. I just do. I can only replicate what I've seen. What I haven't seen, I cannot repeat. Oh, I threaded it too, so I got it. was that? Oh, I threaded him too, so. Yeah, we should be okay. There we go. We are ready for the next pin. I'm putting the sweat into these caterpillars. See it dripping? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is nothing compared to August. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We have uh -huh. to do this stuff. Oh, it's so bad. And that's why we don't even have the fan running right now. Yeah, that's well, yeah, good point. Probably should be actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, that's why you do these projects in January if you can, if not February. That's the best time. Huh? Going into June. I guess we don't have to do it then. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we're threading these. We'll be all done, guys. Seems to be working. I want to tighten these, guys. Huh? Yep. That's tight. And that's tight. Okay. We'll let the professional check it. While I try to straighten out my bent knees. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Click, click. Oh, boy. Yep, that is not a position my knees back to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you got, your knees have like a weird... Yeah, oh yeah, because yeah, mine are set up a bit different or they work a bit different. He else. was bow-legged when he was a baby. Probably still am, I just don't know. <clears throat> Not too much. <clears throat> yeah, that, that one had just a little bit farther to go, but there is okay. like a natural stop, which is nice. I like yeah. that. Because <clears throat> I've bent a bunch, of, or over-tightened a bunch of stuff and uh -huh. broken it. <clears throat> that always scares me now. Because yeah. <clears throat> it's a lot of work to go back and fix something mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. all right, we've got plenty of NSCs on there. So I think we're ready to um, bolt up the tires. I got them setting. Uh, do you need just... to check the brakes, pump them up and stuff, just make sure they're working. Right? Um, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, I guess so we will get the wheels back on, and then we'll take it for a test drive and see how the new brakes we'll work. Get the wheels back on, then we'll torque them, then we'll go for a drive. Okay, bro. Well. You know what I meant. So you put the wheels on, you do all that they other may stuff too. I hope they know what I meant. <laughs> they may have assumed you're kind of, some kind of dumb cough. A dumb cough? Yeah. Well, sometimes people do cough rather dumbly, so you have to do that. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Some people do dumb stuff on cars. That too. Some people bury their trucks and then drive them back out. Oh, savage cough. Huh? That was weird. That was stupid. So, alrighty, we'll get back to work. Comment then we'll take you for a drive. Yeah, if you know what we're talking about. Of course, he made a lot more money from his video than we'll make from this one. <laughs> that's true, but at least we still have a vehicle that's running. Well, he's got plenty of them. Yeah, well. And then he sold it to somebody who will make money with it. So, I'm well, curious. I don't know. That was weird. That. There's some things I understand, and other things I don't, and that's just Wonderful. one of them. So, yep. All right. Alrighty. Peace out.